Prince told me that. She get fired. I'm always that. super curious about label politics in the building when the artist f- finds out that no one is supporting it. No one. And the talent always seems to be super obvious. In, but it, in but it's usually when like the, where there's a change in who's running. Yeah, because the whole the the face is, at basically fizzled out around that time too. But, that, but that's my the talent doesn't change. So you're right. selling it to people who are coming in claiming they know the music right. business. Talent. Usher still Usher. T-I but see the thing T-I. about it, now you got to remember that L.A. Not taking away anything from him. That's my dog. He wasn't really. He's not really a rap guy. He's more of the R and B guy. Right. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. So you got to think that was only two rap groups on the face, Outkast and, and, um, and yeah. Goodie Mob. Well, yeah. Young Bloods came later on. Yeah. Later on. Yeah, but uh, um, yeah, right. it was more of an R and B label. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So, L A. wasn't he? Even when we was talking about doing a video, of Dope Boys in the Trap. He didn't. He was like, "What the hell is the trap?" You know. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? This is right. an OG. You know, do R and B out of Ohio. You know, he. he, don't he, know he ain't no. Yeah, that's that's when you got to trust the people that you hire. That's yeah, what, no, but 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 but, but it's, how it's, was going. Like, it's like but KP it's, was gone. So it's giving somebody else credit when they work with an artist that was there before they got there. It's like mm-hmm. that was somebody else's project. You I, know what I mean? Like I, it's I understand it, but I've never I've never been a fan of that that way of thinking. I think that's corny. Yeah. Oh I yeah, think, well, that's I'm a a fact. Fact. I think that's yeah. super corny. That's a fact. We we've heard so many artists talk about yeah, and then we you know they brought in such and such and such and such left, mm-hmm. and then it was like. All the support was gone. Oh, what happened? It's like they strangled. Uh, all right, this is what you was working yeah. on before. Throw it in the trash. Yeah. I'm just whack. This what? Yeah, like it's just crazy. <laughs> uh, How you not answering no the phone? That's it's hard to get folks wild. on the phone because you know things have changed. Like I said, when you KP was the guy, that was our main guy. You know, mm-hmm. so when he left, it's, yeah, things just it's like uh tip project. Uh. No way. He came up to New York and started hating on us. It's cool. I was getting so. <laughs> I'm gonna get yeah. you. He's shooting at you, Kawani. He's shooting at you, my guy. But yeah, man. But like, like I say, it was um, all it was um, like I, I look at it as a college course, man. As a semester, man. We 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 learned the whole life, you know. Right. Took me all the way back to school again. You know, I thought right. I graduated in '97. I learned the whole nother right. again. Right. You know, mm-hmm. just really how to go about dealing with labels and all that. Right. So mm-hmm. took me to school all over. So I saw from there. Now we're at Atlantic. Yeah, at Atlantic. Okay. Yep. At Atlantic, that was Mike Karen and Craig Craig Calman. Now is 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 this the you don't know me? Uh well, it started Sing- off with the um, um the trap music album was first. You right. don't know me came. Uh, that was um I think that was Urban Legend album. You right. Know, right. Yep. Twenty. So twenty fours was the first thing. Yeah. Right. right. Twenty fours. Yeah. That was on. Uh, and yeah, you don't know me album. was your next. Yeah. Joint. Yeah. Right. Long as tooth is on the beat. Yeah. <laughs> video and everything, right. and that's when I was like, "Hey, man, you gotta say my name on one of these records, man." That, wow, please, man. That, that, was, that was another yes, joint. Yeah, yeah that and he finally yesterday. got them. He finally put me on that. Okay, you, do like, you have yeah. tags now? Because I gotta ask. Because I, I was wondering why Bink didn't have no tags. You got tags? Well, Bink, y'all think Bink used to have a tag? Like, he said he don't. You don't. Nah, we even came up with one for you. Came up with one like your Bink. Can you put a tag on this? That's gonna be his tag. I remember. Damn, I remember hearing some of his beats, and it's like a female voice go Bink, Bink, Bink. The humble monster. He used to. I yeah, guess he got rid of it. Now, yeah, yeah, that's no, know what? It, I think that was on one of the joints. Yeah, one of the joints he played yesterday. Yeah, that's right. now, but back but then, in the, the record, wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the records, nah, yeah, nah. Was and that. I never. Uh, no, nah, I went tags. wasn't really the thing. You know, it, before it was really tags. It was about you know after the rapper do whatever he do, you go in the booth and do your extra shit and put so, that. You know, like yeah. like how Swiss yeah. beats. Yeah. You know, huh, 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 huh. yeah, do right. that. You know, uh, same thing with Pharrell. Yeah, Jazzy Faye too. Yeah. You know, ladies and gentlemen. Jazzy Fizzle so that was chisel. yeah. So that was the tag going <laughs> in that know, booth. You know, stepping that mm-hmm. shit at the beginning or at the end, just you know, to put the curtains on the track. Right. But uh, I yeah, I was stream, always in the streaming era. Tags are necessary. Yeah, but I'm gonna it, tell you, man, we I, don't have the the books anymore. Right, 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 right. Be like, oh my god, I miss them days, man. Listen, let me tell you something about those days. That's really what made me want to fuck with the music industry. It cost in what, 78, 79? I'm going through album covers and I'm like, wow, look at the studio. Recorded, mixed by, damn, what kind of keyboard they use? Yep. And I still didn't know I was going to be a producer, but I was reading credits on old Tower yeah. Power, yeah. Heat Wave albums. And I asked my dad, I'm like, so what is the engineer? He was like, uh, you know, that's the guy who do all the mixing and stuff. So I'm asking these questions, not knowing that I'm actually be doing this shit. Right. But uh, reading though, and I, Shit, I, even when I used to read um shit, the um 
all the shit from up here, man. I knew what studio LL record at Chunking and mm. yeah. mastering, you knew um where it was mastered. Um, yeah, her like, powers. Then he yeah. put little messages in the record. Yeah. So I used to see all that shit, man. Like who mastered it and all that all that info was there. But now, shit, man, you really, where can you get it? Right. You know? Yeah. So um it's, it's that's there, why that's you, why it's sad. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and, and I and, and, and you know what? I got a little tag and I take that from you don't know me, Ashley, when you say. Toop is on the beat, beat, beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got that, but you I it still one. haven't been on anything that's been released with that tag on it. Right. And um, uh, and honestly, I'm guilty of bringing that kind of like how I was moving on that other side, just low key. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wasn't really that loud dude. I I wasn't in really a hurry to really be yelling on the you know videos and nothing. I was just like, right. Shh, you know, you're like, yeah, just on your place. You shit. sit back yeah, here, you know what I mean? Place. And everybody like, man, you need to come out, man. Stop being so shy. I'm like, I ain't shy. I'm just, you know. Moving smooth. But now, in this era, this is yeah. show me era. You yeah. got to let yeah. a motherfucker know. Yeah. You know, if you, you don't, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They will never happen, bro. You, you know got to I mean? let you got to say it, say who did it, who did what. I peep how he just like tiptoed over you don't know me. Yeah. Being his record. Yeah. Like, that was like, <laughs> very humble. It's like TI's biggest record. And he's just Word. like, yeah, I had something on the You Don't Know Me joint. Was that his biggest record? <laughs> That's a fact. Uh, That's a fact. Because now, that we're, was getting one the, of now well, we're getting into the, his best. Well, you, you Don't hold Know on, Me. Hold on. You Don't Know Me. You're going to tell me that's not his biggest record? It's one of them. It's one of them. It's, it, it, What's that, number one? What you know, know about, about that. that? What you know that about that? Huge. Yeah. No freaky. But no you don't freaky. know me. No you don't know me, That's though. That's yours, too, though. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, so, so yeah. come on. I said that. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we was talking about which, but, which was his best beat. That was my yeah. Now, now, let's keep straight. Now, 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 you don't know me was our first Grammy. Right. Mm. Um, Best solo rap performance. Mm. Yeah. Right. And. Got a Grammy. And I'm going to tell you, though. If you go to YouTube and pull up. Uh, well, you don't know. Well, but Tip performed that shit on the Apollo. Mm hmm. Oh my God, bro. Y'all showed some fucking love up here. Yeah, <laughs> Man, that whole crowd was crazy at the bro, Apollo Theater on that shit. I wish I was there. But when, what you know about that, bro? What oh, you yeah. know? That shit, that changed everybody's life. Bro. Told you. Don't you know I bro. got a key what, what? by the tree mm -hmm. when I chirp, 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 chirp back. back. Louis Knapsack, where I'm holding all the work at. Yeah. Yeah. What you know about that? What you know about that? Superhero slow down, that was crazy. Superhero music. Son. Made you want to move in slow motion no matter what you was doing. Back, bro. <laughs> hey, man, back. let me tell you something. And that came from, um, once again, just being in the in the den in the 70s, dropping the needle with Bird of Flat going away. And there's something about that song, man, the way when it got to the end, it was sad, but it was so triumphant. I'm like, my yeah. God, all these strings and shit. And it just <laughs> built up crazy. And I don't know if you notice, I, I sample the end of songs most of the time, but that's right. when that, when it really just- Yeah, yeah. dramatic. Yeah, the climactic the dramatic part, part, the climax, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and I always have love, just like that whole thing, man. I didn't even have to even play the record again, because I remember the melody so well. This dude named Wanda had taught me how to use reason. Mm. Jerry? No, it's just, uh, another dude. Yes, one that got out of um, Atlanta. He was an engineer. Right. And once I learned reason, man, I synced that mug up with the MP, and replayed, you know, the um, the going away track. And, bruh. This Turn smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard.